CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. We begin tonight in Nanaimo where one man is dead and another is in custody facing charges. RCMP found a body last night at an apartment complex near Departure Bay. RCMP saying little about how the victim died, but CTV News has learned that the 27-year-old in custody may be a relative. CTV's Chandler Grieve was on the scene moments after police arrived last night. RCMP officers rush into an apartment complex off Rock City Road in Nanaimo, responding to a call for help from one of their own. An officer was assigned to a call in the 3250 of Rock City Road. When he went there, he met with the 27-year-old male. He had some dialogue with him. It was obvious to the member that this person was having some personal issues. The officer was invited into the apartment where he found the deceased male. Police won't say how old the man was or how he died. But within minutes of their arrival, they took another man into custody. 27-year-old male was arrested in connection with the death of the male found in the apartment building. He was obviously a person of interest. He's taken into custody. Late today, the man was charged with second-degree murder. Police won't say how the two men knew each other. Neighbors believe they may have been related, but none knew either man well. Most are just in shock. People are just saying that someone got shot. It was just, we were in a lockdown mode. The cops told us, stopped, uh, stopped us and asked us questions and stuff, and they haven't really told us much. But, How are you feeling right now? Eh, kind of scared that uh, someone died, but... Neighbors say the apartment complex is relatively quiet and safe. Really quiet complex, uh, by all means. I've been here for two years, uh, but I've also had friends on this exact... Uh, cul-de-sac for longer than that and I've never seen or heard of any any issues there whatsoever people are good we've had our uh, little incidents but nothing serious like uh, it's it's quiet here late today the victim's body is removed from the building nearly 24 hours after police first got the call his name is not being released until all of his family has been notified Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.